the message of Torre David for us is simply that uh, it's incredible what human in ingenuity can achieve. Uh, we have a tremendous problem of urbanization. South America is the most urbanized continent on the planet. Uh, we haven't solved that problem. And this tower, which is a banking tower, occupied by the people, reorganized, re-energized, demonstrates that there are new typologies at megacities and that um, there are urban laboratories. There are things we can learn from this. We're not supporting squatting. We're not supporting the Venezuelan regime, as some people are misrepresenting us in Venezuela. We're just an urban think tank specifically is trying to see what can be learned from it. You know, why, why should the majority of the poor in these countries be forced to live in slums around the edge of the city if there are empty office towers in the, in the center of the city? Increasingly, you know, there's a, a burgeoning environment of speculative office towers that lie empty for their own kind of financial reasons. And the question is, how do you use those things? Not, we're not saying that they should go and be squatted, not at all. But is there a way that they can be used? Are there a resource? Um, you know, Torre David should never have happened. It's an accident and it only emerges from the extreme conditions, both political and economic in, in Venezuela. But it's there, it's a fact on the ground. People have used it in very clever ways and there are ways that architects can support them. The interesting thing for us is that this isn't necessarily just an informal typology. Le Corbusier in the early 20th century designed a house called the Domino House, which is simply two concrete slabs with a staircase and the, the inhabitants were supposed to put their own walls in. Well for us, Torre David is an extruded domino house, but it's a ready-made, we found it, or Urban Think Tank and, and others found it. But there are the, there's this subtext, there's this, it's informal, but it's, it's a kind of modernism, so it's a hybrid, and it's a fascinating structure.